Hello, today I'm going to show you how to play Japanese games on US consoles or US games on Japanese consoles. This will work both ways. On the right, I have a Japanese N64 with a copy of Star Fox, and here I have a US N64 with a US copy of Star Fox. So, I'm going to show you how to make either system be able to play either game. On the right I have a Japanese version of Star Fox, and on the left I have a US version of Star Fox. Besides the stickers, the front covers of the cartridges are identical, but when you turn them over, you can see the difference between the US and the Japanese. The only difference between the two cartridges is that the little indent on the edges, and that's pretty much the only difference in the consoles. So once you remove the, the cartridge cover, then both consoles will be able to play either game. So this is my US N64 with the cartridge cover removed. This is able to play US and Japanese games. I'll show you how this works. So look above it, you can see you can see this metal on the sides and the screws. If the cover is in place on a regular N64, you can't see it. All you get is the, the thing the uh, cartridge goes into, not like the sides. So you want to remove that cover. So here's the English US version of Star Fox working on my US N64. And now, just to show, yeah, this is the bigger, clearly a Japanese one. Fits in no problem because there's no cover. Turn it on. This thing's old. Oh, fucker. Yeah, the one thing about removing the cover is that dust can get inside, and that's shit. There. And my TV shit. But, yeah, you can see. Star Fox 64. Working on the US console. So, this is a Japanese console. As you can see, it goes in, it slides in. It's connected properly. Well, this is the US one. Because the plastic guards are there, and this is the US one, it just doesn't go in. So, how do we fix this? So, this is my Japanese one. I'm just gonna show you how to open it up and remove this cover, as well as the cover inside. So first you're gonna flip the N64 over. There are Six, yes, yeah, six screws, two, three, four, five, and six. So, this is the cartridge cover, and these are the screws that need to get removed. So I've removed the cover from the N64. So this is this is it. This is all the security that N64s have. It was just like this little piece of plastic right here, which will match this. So since this is a Japanese one, it slides in, right? And if we uh, US one, there's two, so it doesn't fit. So now that this piece is gone, you just put the N64 back together without it, because I just screwed in right here and here, then it should be able to fit the games. But one thing you shouldn't notice is that that. That'll happen. If you really like the, the cover for your cartridge, you could, you could, there's a way to keep it actually. It just requires a bit of work. So, this part that you removed, see the, the guards? All, all you need to do is just like cut them with like wire cutters or something, something small, and just sand it down, put it back in, and it'd it work. It'd work no problem.
Okay, so let's see this in action. This is a Japanese Star Fox. On the Japanese console. Awesome. Try it. English Star Fox. That works. English, Zelda, Ocarina of Time. Yay! English. Let's go back to the Japanese. Japanese Mario Kart. Bad TV is bad, but works. Try it. English game. <laughs> 